So basically, as soon as my update got completed, I just took the car out and drove it for about 20 miles or so. I just did a loop around the house. Um, I split things up in two sections. The first couple clips are stop signs, and then the last uh, several of them are red lights. And so this is my first stop. It, roughly about five, 600 feet in, it's, it's telling me it's going to stop at the stop sign, and it does so perfectly. For me to engage or go again, I tap down on the gear selector, and then it picks up and goes again. I, I noticed that it was a little slow on pickup compared to just regular autopilot following a car and so that's just one thing I noticed on this uh, test drive around uh, the, the house here so this is a second stop sign you get the no notification right in the middle of the screen there it's red it's saying that it's gonna stop for you and I tried a couple different ways I tried clicking on the clear gear selector and also tapping on the gas this one the gear selector was pressed down and it starts uh, starts back up again. As you can see, it does pick up kind of slow, and then eventually it picks up to the proper speed. This is the third stop. This is kind of a weird stop. Um, it, it's kind of a dead end, but it does have a stop sign on it, and so um, autopilot's on. It's telling me it's going to stop and it does stop before the line but it, the car kind of moves around uh, not knowing where to go and so it moves me to the right here for some reason um, and for, for me I just bust a U-turn because I don't need to go right I'm just gonna go back home so I didn't have too many other clips with stop sign but for me I think stop signs are easier to program for they're static they're they stay in the same location and they don't change color and so um, that, that's all I have for stop sign let's take a look at some lights so we're approaching the first stoplight here. I get the indicator right in the middle that it's going to stop at the red light. And the light is red right now and it's slowing down. There is a car in front of me uh, showing me to slow down. And so I haven't hit the lever or I haven't pressed the gas or anything like that. Um, and if you don't, it won't go anywhere. As you can see here, like I thought it was going to go. But it doesn't go and then the light turns yellow and then turns red and so I'm basically stuck at a light now um, so at every intersection you have to give a confirmation for it to go if you don't give the confirmation it won't go for you even if the light is green and traffic is flowing it's gonna slow down for you um, so I think the way Tesla has it kind of programmed or the logic that they kind of use is the driver has to con has to confirm that hey I'm gonna make the confirmation that the car is gonna go through this uh, light uh, whatever the whatever the light is yellow or green the driver has to confirm and so I, I think that's safer for them so I hit the down lever and I pick up and go so we're approaching a, a light here and the road kind of splits into uh, both le left and right turn um, and then it looks like it's putting me in the left turn um, I don't do anything I don't have a navigate on or autopilot or anything on right now but it does come to the stop sign uh, and stops at the light and again I have to click on the lever and it picks up again but it doesn't know where to go and so I have to take control and then tell it to go left or, or right wherever I want to go okay so a different intersection here uh, let's see it notices that the lights coming up and it starts to slow me down and this one, I'm the first car, there is no lead car. I do stop uh, right before the line. I'm noticing it's stopping maybe about two to three feet right before the line on, on several of these uh, uh, stop sign or red light turns, or red light in general. Once it turns green, I gotta tap down for it to engage and pick up and go again. But there is another light right up there. Um, I was kind of lucky I found these red light kind of all after one, one after the other. Uh, it's a red light again. It stops and it comes up to the line. A couple feet away from the line, it stops. So on this one, uh, the light turns green. And I was about to hit the lever. But then I realized maybe I should try to tap on the 
gas or the go pedal and I tapped on the gas or go pedal and it, and it took off. Like I said, uh, the takeoff is still a little slow to me. I think that's going to improve over time. Well, one other thing to note is whatever the speed limit is, and that's what it's going to do. It doesn't go any faster than what the speed limit does. And so this one, I hit the lever. I, I think because this is like my day one of it, hitting the lever makes a little more sense to me. But as I get more comfortable with it, I'm probably going to tap the gas. Um, and that, that probably makes more sense later on once I feel more comfortable. But just for today, the lever, I think it, I feel more comfortable with the lever today. So I get the notification. It's going to slow down. And the lever again. Or the gear selector. So this was one of the very few yellow lights I ran through. If you take a look at the screen, the yellow comes through a lot brighter than it normally does. And um, I think this was my only yellow light that I ran. But to me, that was something I noticed right, right away. Instead of just a circle dot, it was a big square yellow um, flashing on the screen. And so that visual changed a little bit compared to the previous software update. On this one, it came to up to a stop sign. There's no lead car. Uh, stop right in front of the line and then I tapped on the gas to, for it to kind of pick up and go So this light here as I'm approaching it, it's green, but because I'm not giving it confirmation My car starts to slow down and it turns yellow and then the car finally slows down If I was coming through there pretty quickly like at 30 or 40 miles per hour if I gave it that second tap uh, for it to confirm to go across that green or yellow light. I, I think it would have went, but because this is still kind of new to me, I didn't know what to do. And so I didn't tap it to confirm and now I'm stuck at a now I'm stuck at a red light where this one I probably didn't need to be stuck here because I could have confirmed it could have went. So I tapped on the gas pedal and it's going again. So you can see from this one, I'm pretty far out, but I get the notification right away, uh, five, six hundred feet away that it's going to stop at this light and it does come to a stop because uh, the light is red so uh, like in all previous examples it stop stops right before the white line and when it turns green I'll give it the confirmation and then I get a take off but I'm not taking off as fast as that guy right there he's zooming by pretty quickly so I got a couple more examples here. This one's in 2x just because uh, it's pretty smooth. As I'm approaching this, I tap on the gas pedal and I come right through the green light. No issues there. Um, and there's another one coming up here. I do the same thing. I get the notification. I tap on the gas pedal and then I go right through without any issues. I, again, there is that speed limit. Um, once it's set at 45, then it's stuck at 45. It doesn't go over the uh, speed limit. So what are my final thoughts on this new update? Um, and, and for me, like even in small roles like this, I, I use nav Navigate on Autopilot or Autopilot all the time. And so even on small roles like this, like my Autopilot is on and I, I hate that I have to stop at a red light and before 12.6 uh, or 2020.12.6, I, I would have to stop by myself. Uh, with, with this update, it's doing that for me. The only weird thing for me on day one is that um, on day one you have to tap at the intersections where when you were on when we we're on 12.5 we didn't have to tap if a car was going 45 and we we're following the car and we we're going through that intersection we didn't have to do anything now we have to give that give it that confirmation which is probably weird day one but as we as we start to use this more often it's probably not going to be too it's not going to be weird it, it's kind of like um, doing that lane change and always having to give it the slight wiggle to show that hey I'm still here you can do that lane change and so for me in all the examples today it all stopped at the red light it all stopped at the stop sign I didn't have any issues with any of them uh, for the most part it was pretty smooth the slowing down was I, I didn't have any complaints about the slowing down as well too I think my only feedback is the the picking up and going from a stop or a red light that seems slow and that could improve over time so I, I guess that's my only feedback or complaint or opportunity with the uh, with with this new update that they have here again that's all for today thanks for watching if it was helpful go ahead and hit that thumbs up thanks bye